Welcome to Watch of the Week here on K-Spec. This is a series of brief reviews and previews of recently introduced timepieces. It's not a commercial, so you will hear my unfiltered reaction, my unfiltered opinion. And our guest in this week is... I have a weakness for the world timer. And one of my favorite watches is the Tissot Navigator with all the capitals on the dial. It's the world on your wrist. It sharpens your senses for the situation of people on the other side of the globe. I mean, you watch the US election, then a look to your watch will help you with that. And you want to call your brother abroad, the watch on your wrist will tell you if this is right now a good idea. And when you get used to the complication, then you will actually take advantage of it. And so I was very pleased when Junghans announced a new world timer made in Germany. I have also a weakness for Junghans. I mean, solid mid-tier, reasonable prices, high used prices, which is always a good sign. And this together mostly with very clean and elegant designs. And now they presented four versions of the Meister World Timer. I've chosen here the blue dial, but more for the video thumbnail. I think in reality every version can offer something. And so let's go over the basics here. Case diameter is 40.4 millimeters, the height is 10.4, steel case, high polished, all with a PVD coating in gold. Automatic movement and a see-through case with mineral glass. There they cut costs. The crystal is a plexi or a sapphire. Great that you have this option here because plexi can be pretty divisive. Many people love the vintage charm, the vintage look, the clear look. Others hate the scratches. And the Junghans plexis are always coated so you cannot polish it. It's about 30 euros for a new one, by the way. And the watch comes either on a calf strap in three colors or on a steel bracelet. Waterproof up to 30 meters with a plexi and 50 meters with a sapphire. So this material here makes a big difference. On the dial you see now two rings with cities around the 24 hour disc. The night is marked in black and everything is here executed very Junghansisch. Uncluttered, precise, with a good sense for proportions and colors. And my favorites here are the version with the blue dial and the golden one with the white dial. The blue offers a rich sunburst effect. It's like a long stare in the night, very beautiful and deep. But I would change the strap to a dark brown to give it a more classy look. And the gold version with the white dial offers something like a different world region. Imagine this watch on a gentleman with a dark complexion, linen suit or polo would look great. And many will fancy the silver version with a bracelet. For my taste too pure, but okay, we're different and that's good. The movement is rather basic because the J820.5 is a modified cylinder, so nothing with in-house here. And people will criticize that, but at the end this movement makes it possible that the watch retails under the 2K mark. If you find 1600 euros for the leather version reasonable now is another question, but my experience with Junghans is that they keep most of their value, at least a big chunk of their value. If you buy them used, you pay, even in Germany, up to 70% of the retail price. And so, in my eyes, a very attractive package at the right time. And I think they try to step up the game a bit, because the colors and the diameter target very big markets without narrow borders. Suitable for a world timer. By the way, I was in contact with a nice press lady at Junghans, and if you want to see a certain model from that brand, here in the studio, then let me know in the comments. At least I can try to get a piece for a week so that we can examine it. Okay, that's all for now. See you next Monday to watch of the week here on Caseback.